have to hear. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it. Now all together a cheer. Hi folks, it's once again Mark, your one-take beer reviewer, sitting outside on this uh, hot summer day because, well, I have just been out uh, trying to uh, fix the garage, which has problems of its own, and since it's so hot, I thought I'd take the proceedings out here and talk a little bit about uh, Shandy's, or Radler beers. Uh, this came about, actually, because I had an email from the brand managers for Shock Top, a uh, part of uh, Anheuser Bush asking if I'd uh, talk about their Shock Top Summer Shandy, Summer Shandy and Lemon Shandy rather. Yes, Shock Top Lemon Shandy. Let's hold it up for the product shop. And I said, well, I'm not really that crazy about the style. And besides, full disclosure, I'm currently uh, doing a couple weekends where I sample out beers for Goose Island, which is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Anheuser Busch. Uh, they said okay, and here with all the appropriate disclaimers is a chance to talk a little bit about the style, which I'll have an article accompanying. Uh, Shandies and Radlers, as they're called in Germany, are summertime beer mixes. Uh, allegedly, they started in Germany when a uh, beer owner, beer house owner in Bavaria, knew there were a bunch of bicyclists coming by who are called Radlers. R-A-D-L-E-R-S, and uh, knew he wasn't going to have enough beer to serve all of them, so he mixed it with Limonade, which is the German for carbonated lemon soda, as in 7-Up, and uh, served that to patrons, and the style come on, uh, the style caught on. Uh, the Brewer Stiegel imports a uh, lemon Rattler. They also have a Coca-Cola Rattler, or rather a Cola Rattler, and um, beers mixed with other soft drinks. And a, the English version is actually a Jamaican name, Shandy, which was beer mixed with ginger ale. But uh, again, it's usually mixed with uh, lemonade or just lemon flavoring. So we're going to just pop this one, and I wasn't going to get out a whole bunch of them and compare because um, it's a hot day, what you just want is a cold beer, and this may be one. And there are some brew pubs now that are mixing their beers with uh, lemon, lemonade, whatever you want to call it. And the Shock Top, which is a, a Belgian-style wheat beer brewed with spices and with natural lemon, lemonade flavor added. I hope it's not country time. But what we're getting is a, it is a cloud, slightly cloudy beer in the Belgian style with uh, some foam, a nice, actually a tight uh, Belgian head. As I said, I'm not too big a fan of the mega craft disguised beers, but, uh, and I, I think I got a little debris in the glass, but uh, it's uh, foam, it's bubbling up pretty well. And it kind of, the smell on these will kind of vacillate between lemon juice and lemon pledge. Uh, and this comes more toward a uh, lemonade. And, and I think there is a touch of ginger to this, or if there are indeed spices in it, here they are. Well, it actually does manage to uh, walk a line between a slightly uh, Belgian uh, white beer style with some lemon flavor added to it, so... Um, actually, I think it's not as light as it might want to pretend to be. It's got a little extra weight to it, we'll say. I, I don't get as much malt but there is some uh, some some backing to it so yes this is my first time having this one and it's not totally off the mark I would say if they really did have a Belgian wit style uh, to mix with lemonade it came off across pretty well but now what if we want and I have wanted to do this as a guy watching his weight to uh, try to just make our own with a, a more diet-oriented approach. And I think it's, this is going to be a disaster, but let's try it. Uh, this is using True Lemon, which is a uh, lemonade mix made from lemons with stevia uh, sweetener to it. We're, and I pre-made a 16-ounce uh, container with some of this stuff. We're just going to do a half and half. 
with a craft beer out of my own fridge. And this is with Shiner Wild Hair, a beer which I uh, discussed earlier and which I still have one bottle of remaining. So uh, it's a American style pale ale. This may not be the best choice to mix with this, but let's find out. And it does retain its color. Well, you still kind of taste the artificial sweetener to this, so uh, mixing with uh, diet drinks, uh, not the very best idea, although you could get used to this. It's going to cut your calorie count in half, although you're going to end up drinking the whole bottle mixed with this anyway. You lose some of the hoppiness, but there's still a touch of bitterness to it that uh, works out all right. But uh, again, you're still kind of tasting the artificial sweetener a little more up front. Stevia is an artificial sweetener, which isn't quite as well saccharin as saccharin, but it has its own uh, tinge to it. But uh, So that's a quick look at some uh, a couple of shandies and an idea for making your own. So uh, it's a hot day. It's going to be a hot summer. So uh, go out and explore some uh, warm weather beers. Now 